good everyone welcome to my channel we've got a hard drive here to fix you see this one is the faulty hard drive now what the customer did he brought another hard drive with the same type the same hard drive working hard drive he bought a new one working hard drive so what he wants me to do now he wants me to transfer this board to this board which if you do that the hard drive will pin like it will switch on but you won't have a the dead it will read the data except you have to uh, swap the firmware but before then before then let's test something and it came with his uh reader hard drive reader okay let's see together Hard drive connected. I'm just trying to switch this thing on. You see on the on the power supply. You see? It's reading the hard drive. It's reading the hard drive. Okay. Four volts. Zero point thirty-eight milliamp. Did you see that? The hard drive is detected. Let's see here. Let's see here. Here's the hard drive. You see that? Here's the hard drive. It's detected. Okay. So now, the one that it brought, let's see together. Let's disconnect this. Huh? Connected. Okay, here's the one that it brought that has a problem. It says it's not reading. Okay, look here. When we connect the hard drive, check on the power supply. You see, there's a shot on this hard drive. Okay, instead of let's fix this hard drive, let's fix this. Instead of swapping the the board of the new hard drive, let's try and fix this. Okay. Let's open it up and see what, what is the problem. And see what could be the problem. Okay. By the way, thanks to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. And if you are watching this video now, you have to subscribe. Please kindly subscribe for more repair videos like this. Okay. Here's the board. Is the board of that hard drive? Is the board? Let's see if we can zoom. Okay. I think here's the board. So now, let's look for short. Let's look for short. I'll put the negative. Let us tie the negative here. A negative prompt there. I'm using the put a meter on the continuity mode. Okay. Did you see that it's on continuity mode? Okay. You see this three pin. One, two, three. They are in the in a parallel line. Eh? the same line this three pin is the 12 volts that's supposed to power on this uh, hard drive that's supposed to power on this board okay so now let's see what we have here you see that it's short to ground that means the the here's the current sensor the current sensor is short to ground the diode is short to ground so now, if ever this is short to ground, this board would have power. That means the 12 volts line is short to ground. So what you're going to do now, this is the power diode. This is the power diode on the 12 volts. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take out that power diode. We're going to take out this power diode. On the 12 volts line then when we take it out now 
They will test if they are still short on this board. They will test if they are still short on this board. Okay. Let's take it out quickly. Okay, it's out. It's out. Let's check again if we still have short. Did you see that now? The short is gone. Did you see that? The short is no more there. So, what we need to do this power diode, this 12 volts power diode, né? we need to replace it. You know what? I don't. He said I must take part from the from the new hard drive. You see, from this new hard drive. I don't want to do that. You see, I just want to save him his money. You see, okay. Let's take this power diode from another uh, hard drive. Any hard drive, it will work. Okay. I've got a board here. I'm taking this, this from this board. Okay. Let's put a power diode now. Okay, I think uh, the diet is in now. Okay, it's properly soda. Let's just quickly clean the board, then we can test if we still have the shot there. Okay, then we can test if we still have the shot. Okay, yes, the multimeter. Did you see that? The shot is gone. Okay, yes, my uh, continuity mode multimeter. Look here. You see? Now the shot is gone. You see? Oh, I don't need to guess that. Yes, on the diet, there is no short. So, I guess our problem is fixed. Okay, let's grab the hard drive, assemble it. You see. You know, I could take the other board, swap the board, then also swap the firmware. The the hard drive will work. But what is the essence of not just fix this one and let the customer have two hard drives, two working hard drives, you see? So that's the point of fixing this. Okay, there you go. So now let's check if it's working. What we did, let's see if it is working now. Okay. Here's the reader, the hard drive reader, right? You check on the power supply, eh? There's the hard drive connected to the reader. See, on the power supply, it's taking power. Okay, let's see if it's detected. Let's see quickly if we have. There you go. Here's the hard drive. You see? Look at this D. You can see that. If I switch it off now, you see that it will disappear. 
Did you see that? That is the hard drive. The hard drive it's fixed. Okay. The hard drive is fixed. Okay, I will stop this video now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like this video. And I will see you on the next video. Okay. Bye bye.